today we're going to be looking at giving the appropriate units of k, which is our rate constant. And the first step we have to do is to write our expression for k as your subject. So rearranging your rate equation, which we have done in a previous step from your data, we get k is equal to rate over concentration to the power of the overall order. Now this is for our units. We then have to substitute the units for rate and concentration, which is given in the table. And you can see that I've provided you a table. And what we have there is the unit of rate as mole per litre per second, all over the units for concentration, which you can see is given for A, B and C. Those are my reactants which is given in mole per litre. Now, what we have to do is we have to do the overall order of the reaction. If your overall order of your reaction was zero order, we do to the power of zero. Okay. Now, if we use our calculator, and I was to do two to the power of zero, that would give me one. Five to the power of zero, that would give me one. So anything to the power of zero gives you one. So what we want to do with that is we then want to substitute this bottom number, uh, bottom unit for one. So the top line stays the same. So the overall units for zero order are mole per liter per second. We have to do the same thing for second order. So what we can see here is we would do k is equal to, so we've got the unit of rate, which was mole per litre per second, all over the units for concentration, which is moles per litre. But this time we're saying the overall order of the reaction is one. So the top line stays the same, mole per litre per second, all over. And anything to the power of one is just itself. So that becomes mole per litre. Now, what we want to do is we'd want to take the bottom and bring it up to the top. So if mole is positive one at the bottom, when I bring it to the top, it is negative one. One minus one, they cancel each other out. L to the minus one would become L to the positive one. Minus one plus one cancels each other out. And that leaves me with the expression of per second, which is the appropriate units for K when the overall order of the reaction is first order. Do the exact same thing for second order. Unit of rate doesn't change. It's still mole per liter per second. Remember, this will always be given to you in a table. Concentration is always mole per liter. And the overall order that I've worked out for my reaction is second order. So I put it to the power of two. Top line remains the same. And bottom line, mole squared, L to the minus two. Again, what I would have here is I would have, if this is positive two at the bottom, when I bring it to the top, it becomes negative two. 1 minus 2 gives me mole to the minus 1. L negative 2 in the bottom becomes positive 2 when I bring it up. Minus 1 plus 2 gives me L to the 1, but we don't write positive 1s in chemistry, as the letter already stands for having one of that entity. Then we have S to the minus 1. Now, this will be accepted in past papers. However, you'll probably see them writing the expression as the positive entity first, which is our litre. And then when we have our negative, um, we usually do it in alphabetical order, which would be mole minus one, S minus one. But this here, this would be accepted. So you can still do that unit there. And last but not least, we have got K as uh, in the overall order of our equation as third order. So we would have mole per litre per second all over the unit of concentration, which is mole per litre to the power of three. Top line remains the same. 
small minus 1, s minus 1. I have to cube my mole, so that becomes mole to the 3, and cube my l to the minus 1, which becomes l to the minus 3. If it's positive 3 in the bottom, it becomes negative 3 when it comes to the top. 1 minus 3 gives me mole to the minus 2. L negative 3, when I flip it, will become positive 3. Minus 1 plus 3 comes L to the 2. S to the minus 1. And again, you can rearrange that expression to have your positive entity first. Your negative 1 and then your mole to the minus 2. But again, this here is also accepted. So these are the four different units that you have to be able to work out when you are identifying the correct units for the rate constant k.